How's it going YouTube? This is Lucas here. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a really quick tutorial on how to set up your Universal Audio console like a pro. So this software obviously comes included with Universal Audio Apollos. I have the X8P. I'm going to show you a couple different things. I'm going to show you how to tidy up the mixer and I'm also going to show you how to set up your, your Apple settings so that you can actually record anything you want from Spotify or from YouTube or from the internet and have that recorded directly into your digital audio workstation. So the first thing, so I've been to other people's studios and, and kind of seen people's setups and I think one thing that has helped me a lot is actually if you just right click any of these you can literally hide any channels that you're not using so I've hidden everything that's not connected on my interface so I literally just have my Avalon and my mics here my guitar cab mic my desktop mic my axe effects and my synths and that's it and then I have my system channel which I'm going to talk about in a second so if you open up the menu uh, and go to uh, view settings you can see all of your available channels here and you can also turn certain ones on or off but what I've really just done is hidden them on a case-by-case -case basis on uh, on the mixer directly right here and if you didn't know you can link two channels so if you look here like for example my axe effects is plugged in uh, as a stereo uh, so there's there's two quarter inch cables so you can just link them like that and then it'll you know do a left and right pan so that's tip number one for organizing. Hide stuff that you're not using. That way you're only looking at this. Now I'm going to show you if we open up the audio MIDI setup. So this is going to be for Mac. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my Universal Audio Thunderbolt and hit Configure Speakers. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my left and right to Virtual 1 and Virtual 2. It took me a little while to wrap my head around this, but basically the easiest way for me to explain this to you is basically the Mac operating system is allowing you to route your audio in a certain way. So normally this is going to be routed to monitor left and monitor right, which are our monitor outputs on the back of the Apollo interface. But instead, we're going to have all of the system audio from the Mac computer. That includes like Spotify, anything you play off the internet, any sounds that you're playing off your computer. We're going to route those to virtual one and two, which are essentially virtual buses that Universal Audio includes in the Apollo ecosystem. And what you can do is if you found, I've, I've renamed it, but this would have been called virtual, oh it is called virtual one slash two. I linked them and just named it system because it's easy for me to remember. I know it's the system audio so it's everything from YouTube, anything that you're playing. Now all of that is going to come through this channel. So that's super nifty because if I pull up Ableton Live here, sorry I think I need to move it to this desktop, here's live, um, I can actually just pull up system one and two and play anything from YouTube, anything from Spotify and just record it right into my DAW. So they have more information about how to set this up on the UA website, but, and, and there's also some videos and things that people have posted, but I've always found them to be like a little bit confusing. So the concept here is we're essentially rerouting our Mac computer to send the audio outputs to a specific channel in the mixer. And then that goes to your monitor left and right outputs on your Apollo. So I hope that helps. This is how I have this set up. Once you're done doing whatever you need to do to clear this up, please save it as a preset because um, if you hit new or I don't know, for, if you update your software, it's going to be all brand new and you're going to want this as a preset. So you hit save as and you can save it. You can add tags and different things. But this console is super powerful. It allows you to do some things that would be really annoying to do with other audio interfaces. But that being said, it can be a little clunky and hard to use at first. But once you wrap your head around it, it's great. Let me know if this is helpful. I'm Lucas again. Check out some of my other videos. Subscribe if you find them helpful. I'm out of here. Peace out.